Heirloom Shards, easily one of the most sought after items in all of Apex Legends. Some people get it really early, some people never get them, but today, one person is guaranteed to get it after this long tournament that I put them through. And at the end of this long video, you will know these guys went through some of the most intense obstacles in all of Apex Legends. Buckle up, you guys. This is going to be a long one, but trust me when I say this, it's all going to be worth it. This is the Apex Legends Season 16 Heirloom Shards Tournament. I am giving away free heirloom shards to one of these lucky 20 contestants. Every single person in the form of a solos competition mode is going to have to go through all of my wacky challenges and only one person is going to come out alive, well, <clears throat> and with some heirloom shards. But I will not be doing this alone. I will be accompanied by my good friend, Nick Makes Content. Nick, welcome back, man. Thank you for having me, shoddy. I know, it. I know I don't have the ca I'm not looking at you, but like, what do you have on? What are you wearing today? What are you wearing? I am Naruto Uzumaki. I haven't seen no jutsu. Believe it. For real. You know, next time I'll dress up. I'll dress up for the next tournament I do, I promise. Comment down below and tell me what should I, who, who from Apex Legends I should dress up as. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into game number one, which is the warm up one, and that is Apex Legends Trivia. Here we go, you guys. We are on the first mini game, Apex Legends Trivia. I've come up with some questions. They're pretty simple. Uh, it's four questions. It's A or B, right or wrong. There's no punishing for getting it wrong, but I actually can laugh at you guys if you don't know it. The left side here where the Mirage is standing will be A. B is where the fence is. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get into the first question. Question number one. What is Wraith's real name? Is it A, Hope? Or is it B, Heather? Hope, congratulations, you guys all got it right. <clears throat> I thought it was Renee. Chat, did I get that wrong? Hold on, hold on. Renee, Hope, okay, you know what? Hold on. It, it, that's her middle name, Hope. Good thing this is warm-up, am I right, chat? Next question, which I definitely, definitely know the answer to, and hopefully you guys do too. What is Loba's last name? Is it Andrade A, or is it Grande B? What is Loba's last name? Looks like everybody got it right this time. Oh, look at DJ. He's just he's just ready to light somebody up. Look at him. He's just so determined. <clears throat> you see that floating mirage? I do. What? What is this guy doing? Hold on. <laughs> wow. All right, back up, guys. Hold on. We don't need it. We don't need to pay attention to him. Question number three definitely is not going to be easy. I expect some people to de to um to be uh, put in death boxes on this one. On Tony Romero's climb in ranked in Apex Legends, who was the first legend that he hit masters with? Was it A, Bloodhound, or was it B, Crypto? Who was the first legend Tony hit masters with in Apex Legends? It actually was Crypto. Yes, season 12, Olympus split. Last question, how many years old is Apex Legends? Is it A, three, or B, four? How old is Apex Legends? Is it A, three, or is it B, four? Everybody in A, the Lobas, stay where you are. Everybody else, back out. This is gonna be, this is gonna be bad. All right, these Lobas here. Congratulations, you guys have earned yourselves a one-way trip to visiting your parents in a death box. Run down, go ahead and hose them down. Yep. The answer was four. Answer was four, you guys. Uh, it's on Twitter. All right, warm up is over. It's time to get to the real games. First game mode is the Wraith race. All contestants need to pick Wraith and we are gonna be racing. Here we go, you guys. Game number one, it is the Wraith race, where all the Wraiths are gonna be starting here at Shipfall, and they're gonna begin the race by taking the Grav Cannon. The course of this Wraith is gonna be starting right here where Shipfall is, and they gotta make their way all the way to High Point. It's not just gonna be a simple foot race. These guys are gonna be interrupted by two trident drivers who are basically going to be ramming into them and making it a difficult time so it's not just a straight 
foot race. This is nice because it gives the people in last place a chance to catch up because these guys are going to be making it a really hard race for the guys in first place. So like I said, they have to make their way all the way to high point and take the high point jump tower. Once they've taken the jump tower, they will have to make their way all the way back to ship fall. The race have to cross the finish line, touch the fence, and they will be eliminated by our Watsons. They're gonna turn you into death box. The five people who are in last place who don't cross the finish line will be the first ones eliminated, but don't leave. I will need you guys for the next mode. You guys have a very important role. Let's actually go ahead and take a look at some of the contestants here. Nick, do you have any favorites? I'm not sure about a favorite yet. I picked Arc Sclaps last time and he got second, you know, I was kind of disappointed, but also, you know, <clears throat> he put on a good show. But as far as who's gonna lose the race, First of all, they're starting a mile behind everybody else. Second of all, uh, they lose every time. Who, who is this? Who yep, are you talking yep. about? Look, 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 now he's scooting up. He knows who I'm talking about. Losing, <clears throat> vibing Leon. Ah, yes, we have a returning, a returning longtime competitor. I know what you guys are thinking. Tony, how does vibing Leon always get into your tournaments? Well, you have to win to not be invited back, but you also have to lose to maybe have a chance to come back. I don't think he's winning. He's just here for the uh, for the comment farm. So comment down below and let me know. Do you guys think that I just stop inviting Leon if he loses this one? Alrighty, Wraiths. Three, two, one, go! Some of y'all got a head start, but I don't care. Go, go, go. Good luck to all the racers. The Wraith, the Wraith race has begun. Man, that's gonna be a little bit of a tongue twister if you don't mind me saying that, but I'm excited to see Who's gonna come out winning? But more importantly, I wanna see if uh, who the bottom five are because they have a very important role. Nick, thank you again for coming back here. What are your thoughts on this course? You know, usually it's on orbit on uh, orbital cannon over on Olympus, but I changed up the scene. What are your thoughts on uh, Storm? Yeah, Storm I think this Storm Point is actually a really good place to hold the race, especially with them being race, not octanes. You know, mm -hmm. I just think that uh, there's a lot of different paths they could take here. They could do some cheeky stuff, plenty of zip lines to play with, a race favorite mm -hmm. toy. Um, I, I think this storm point is a really good choice and I think it creates more diversity in what the racers can do And as you say like different routes they can take some people I'm looking at right now at antenna Some people can go left some people can go right some people can take the Jurassic Park pit aka the prowler pit Going left some people can also go right as creatively as they can get the big checkpoint is high point if we're taking a look now uh, first place kind of on paper vibing Leon surprising about to exit the prowler pit it I'm is interesting though, there was a pretty much 50-50 split between people that went right and left out of the best POI on World's Edge antenna. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, you gotta wonder which one's gonna prove to be faster. I'm I'm not sure myself, but there are yeah. grab cannons over here. Yes, I do see a grab cannon, yes. Somebody that is in the lead right now is 450. 450 is in the lead, he adds up the low the low position right now, he's going to have to try to climb and make his way to the grav cannon. That is going to be interesting to see what the change of position is going to look like for the racers. Grav cannons are allowed. Magentime about to take the lead here. Magentime grinded their way to take that prestige, to make that prestige skin uh, level three for Wraith. What a sweat. And you are right. That grav cannon did play a big factor in, in positioning. Vibing Leon does have, have a big zip line. another though. grav cannon coming up. Honestly, at this point, I think that anybody that chose the same path of Vibing might be out of the race after everybody on this side hits this next grav cannon. Yeah, it just comes down to uh, map IQ pretty much, right? Map IQ. I couldn't is, agree more. So we're going to go ahead and just stay locked in here with It's Magging Time to see what the position difference is going to look like as they're going to be pretty much dominating the lead. Everybody that's on the right side. Vibing Leon just pretty much leading this team. The Everybody that's on the left side to like the path of losing because again he's losing leon <laughs> but goddamn dude he is going through command center i think he's lost let's go ahead and take a look at him i'm gonna take a look at vibing leon but vibing leon i think is seriously ferociously lost right now yeah we got four fitty mag in time arc slaps and slim shady all pretty much neck and neck on this other side i'm not surprised they're all familiar names they're all sweats you know mm -hmm. this is what i expected Vibing Leon's making his way back, but uh, might not be the bottom five. If Vibing Leon can keep his position and keep his lead, he might be in good hands because some people here, they they're, as they're listening, they can hear us commentating and hosting, decided to turn around and take the grab cannon. Might have been the best move for them. We'll see, though. Um, do we have anybody turning around and making their way back? Uh, not quite yet, but it is interesting. Both tridents are over here, none over by Vibing's side. 
which I think that should have been an indicator already that you are not a threat of winning the race. Yup, yup, Magentime is the first person going up the zip. I mean, what do you expect from him? He's wearing the level three Wraith Prestige skin. I, I, oh, this guy's a gamer. Magentime is kind of hanging in the air. Probably gonna mm -hmm. land on another grab cannon and then do the other grab cannon. I'm telling you, this this route is just so much better than the other one. Yep. Oh, look at look at my 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 our trident driver here, making it very difficult for these guys to climb. Tridents were allowed to do what they want. Look at now, look at DJ over here blocking the grab cannon. He knows that people want to take this grab cannon. Uh, stop them from taking. Diddy kind of falling out of the race. IDK XYZ taking his place, but the top three are still the same as they have them. The Slim Shady arcs and Magentine. I don't mm. think DJ can handle them. They're just too slippery and slimy. We're used to mm -hmm. playing Wraith, you can tell. I'm taking a look at the at the last people in last place. It looks like Also29 is one of them. Cool Dylan, another one. TTV Dark Ninja. And it's getting really close from Myko Fox and Try Try Hard Tyler. Uh wow, somebody I saw I just noticed right now on my map, some people took a fake portal that, that made them think that it was gonna put them in the lead, but actually sent them backwards. I think 450 heard me talking smack and he's now in first place. I don't even know where he came from. Oh yep, and he's trying to doing a, a pretty good job at, at making it very uh difficult for these guys that are in the lead to stay in the lead. Uh they're pretty much retracing their tracks over here, coming through antenna. Uh wanna make a quick update on the last five people. We have cool Dylan, Brandon. Mike Fox, Auso, and TTV Dark Ninja, who are in clear last place to be the bottom five. And look at we have both Tridents blocking. Both Tridents yeah. blocking. So if you guys are in last place, you have a chance. Tridents here blocking the grab cannon that they know they know they need to take if they want to have a chance to cross the finish line. I am now here at the finish line with the two uh, Watsons. Uh oh, Juarez going a little too far, overshooting it. He's got to cross the fence. Don't shoot them. They have to cross the fence and touch. Silverfish, big dude, get ready to hose them down. Hose them down. We need fast TTK. DJ, be careful. You don't want to go into that fence. I'm taking a look at the last five place people. I'm looking at these guys. Losing Leon. Hold on. Hold on. We might have an upset here. And I'm going to call it out. Shoot the fences now. That's it. The people who got eliminated. I'm going to go over the names. Michael Fox, Passion, Cool Dylan, also and brandon and that is it you guys we're moving on to game number two which is called bloodhounds beasts of the hunt where we'll find out who the next five will be eliminated game two coming up right now game number two it is called bloodhounds beasts of the hunt where we are on broken moon and it's basically hide and seek the seekers are going to jump out last they are landing at breaker wharf and the first five eliminated will not make it to the next round and the game will be over whether the ring closes or not. Nick, run us by through. What is? What do you think the strat is to increase survivability for all of the people hiding? Like I was saying, you, you definitely want to craft up your Evo. You know, the more shots you can take, the better chance you have of actually getting away. So mm -hmm. we know where Seekers are landing. So if you're going to collect materials, you want to start close to them and then work away from them so that you can craft in peace without perch. them, you know, barreling down on you. On top of that, since they're all mm -hmm. Bloodhound, if you are going to go to a hiding spot, I would suggest that you really like it and you stay there for as long as you can. Because the more times that you rotate around, the more footsteps you're going to be leaving. But if you just stay still for 90 seconds, you have no footsteps. Boom! Top tier heirloom champion worthy tips from Nick Makes Content, who's wearing a Naruto headband, because he knows it all. The first ring, they are given peace. The Bloodhounds are not allowed to shoot or hunt anybody until ring one is officially closed. So I, right now, for the sake of an update for those of you guys watching on YouTube, watching on stream, I will not be looking at the hiding spots. Usually I do, but that's Nick. Nick will be looking at your guys' hiding spots. He'll be rating them from one through 10. Um, I will not because I'm live streaming this. And if uh, the hunters, which they probably will be, uh, looking at stream, they're gonna know where you guys are. So for the integrity of the tournament and all the hiding spots, I'm gonna give you guys the respect that you deserve and not look at any of the hiding spots. Um, but let's go ahead and give an introduction to the people that were eliminated. Cool Dylan, our first Bloodhound. Mike Fox, new to the community, also Bloodhound, wearing the default aqua blue... St I don't know, I'm just making up names at this point. Uh, we have Passion, who is also wearing the Anniversary Bloodhound skin, one of my favorites. Uh, cool Dylan, who I just was on earlier. Cool Dylan has the pirate-themed skin. And then we have Tyler, who um, I, I didn't look at Tyler for no specific reason at all, not because they were Loba. <clears throat> but uh, we are looking at also who is a uh, bloodhound wearing purple. And then we have Brandon, 
who is uh, also wearing the anniversary uh, skin for Bloodhound. Chat, stop it! I did not. That was not a. That was an accident. I swear, it was not on purpose. Chat's like, nah, <laughs> dude, you're, you're down bad. No, nah, it was an accident. I swear, Nikki, believe me, that was an accident, right? Come on. Oh, yeah, for sure, a happy little accident. Just like me. Oh my gosh. Are there any people hiding right now already that have committed? One person who is hiding already um, is Curb Mario. Yeah, you know, you said you want this rated 1 out of 10. Yes. Curb Mario, I mean, if you're playing in a lobby of blind people, this is a 10 out of 10. But since you're not, I'm going to have to give this out oh. to buddy. Hey, yo, what the f you might you might want to move man <laughs> really what i'm hoping for is some 10 out of 10 hiding spots where they're just like that perfect spot they picked has been ring the entire time you know that's what i'm looking for this is, what nah this actually is 10 out of 10. wait it's not 10 out of 10 at all you're not even in the you're not even in ring dude oh man this is a zero out of 10 because he's about to move in about two seconds ring one now officially closing in three two one that is it. Ring one is closed. Bloodhounds can now hunt. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look. We're gonna go through all of them, see if anybody are any of them are near. Honestly, <laughs> I don't, there's nobody in ring. There, there's one dude in ring. I'm not gonna say Only who it is. One dude. But all I know is that all these hiders are not gonna be hiding in two seconds. They're gonna have to start running to ring. I don't think they listened to your tip on the fact that if they move, there's bloodhound foot bloodhounds gonna sense your footprints. Goes, oh, it looks like Passion's found somebody. I'm, I'm spectating the Bloodhound Passion on the trail. Passion, now is your chance to take out all that anger and frustration that you have on this person. You were eliminated. Go get him. In fact, I forgot to say this, Bloodhounds, you guys know, Beast of the Hunt is not just for the name of your ultimate. You can use your ultimates if you feel like you need to. Oh, you hear that? fighting for her life, but she's mm -hmm. between two Bloodhounds that are now in Beast of the Hunt, and I, yeah, I, I, both... I just don't see how she escapes. I can't spectate her. Did she... What? Dude, not quite. The back not quite. Oh. And that is it. That was close, though. That was, that was close. Was FS though. Trippy Girl, I'm sorry you are the first one on the chop block. Oh, no. Yep, I saw it. It's a vantage. He got a scan. Bloodhound is on the hunt. Fetch me their souls. Now, I actually think that, yeah, like, the bird has a lot of. or bat. Whatever. Who cares? Has so much mobility that, honestly, I, I think that cool Dylan might be wasting some time and energy here. Oh, he's staying full committed on this. Oh, yep, somebody else found oh, him. Three bloodhounds have now all shot. Oh, at look at Magentine. this one. Hopefully, Magentime is able to just outmaneuver these bloodhounds and, and potentially stay in to to live another round essentially. Honestly, he's doing a great job of it right now. He got shot at by Ithaca. Mike Fox and Cool Dylan, but he's looking uh -oh. perfectly healthy. Somebody right else now. just got scanned right now. I see an Ash right here. That's in front of Mike Fox. Oh, Brand yeah, I'm on him right now. Mike Fox is looking, doesn't quite see them. Very being confused oh. because of all the footprints. Overwhelmed by the, the amount of just information that he has, doesn't know what to do. Mike Fox I, I shouldn't have been tracking footsteps there. He should have been using his ears. I, I mean, the Ash just ran right past him and just. Pretty much walked away. A little status update. We did miss another death. It looks like Steggy, the Mirage, is dead. We have Dark Ninja, who is eliminated, as well as Trippy Girl. That's three. Fox is on the hunt, according to one of my mods. Oh, he is. It's a Loba. Slim oh, no. Shady just went down to the ring. He went down to ring? Slim Shady, the Octane, went down to ring. All right, and Dino Oc just got eliminated, and so did Curb Mario. That, is that it? Is that it? I think that's Pause. it. Here it is, you guys. The last... 10 people going to the semi-final round for the heirloom shards. We are moving on to the next one. This one is a uh, an original favorite. I personally don't know how this one's going to go. It is the Caustic Gas Bunker Challenge, but on Storm Point. We are at the semi-finals. The Caustic Gas Bunker Challenge, except it's at Storm Point. Here at the maintenance tunnel, for anybody that survives and makes their way through, we'll have a guaranteed spot at the final. But in the event that nobody makes it out alive, everybody makes it to the finals. I already had this planned out. But let's say there's one person who makes it out and everybody else is, you know, death box. That one person, not only will still everybody make it to the finals, but that one person will get a $50 gift card courtesy of your boy, Tony Romero, for being a good sport. But let's go ahead and get into this bunker. Let's see what this looks like. They have to make it out alive here. Gas traps, catalyst traps, 
more gas traps rampart barricades gas traps you guys this is a long tunnel here and if they make it out alive they 100 percent deserve to not only be in the finals but potentially earn another 50 dollars are you okay okay i got walked in the face anyways <laughs> moving on watson fences at the very end here and this is the finish line right here cross through the door past the friends don't worry watson won't shoot nick tell me what do you think the survival rate of is for these people to be completely honest tony i feel really bad for telling people to pick pathfinder i didn't know what the course was gonna be um i think the survivability here especially with the 60 second time limit is zero percent i don't think it's possible when you when you guys hear nick say go that means go he'll give you guys the countdown three two one go Alrighty, here we go. Good luck to the Lobo. That is Arx Claps. He's trying to swing his way through, setting off a lot of traps here. He's trying to find a nice sweet spot. He's he is hitting meds. Meds are allowed, but he, he wow. <laughs> okay. Um, the rest of the contestants look terrified. <laughs> All right, Grimlock. Three, two, one, go. Alrighty, good luck, Grimlock. Oh, that did not go as planned. I'm pretty sure he thought that was going to be a lot juicier. He's trying to find a sweet spot to heal. Doesn't quite find it. This might be it for him. He hits a nice med. He's trying to out heal the gas. Doesn't. Next up is, I don't know, XYZ. Go. All right, there he goes. Sets off the three gases as usual. I think what I would have done is I'm trying to find a sweet spot, right? Where to heal that's not in between both gases. Time the range. He's hitting the med off. He's doing good, trying to avoid the gas. He's taking a lot of damage still. Oh my god, he barely gets the med off. You could, I wonder, you are allowed to loot death boxes. You can't loot the death boxes of the fallen people. But you only have 60 seconds, so you gotta be careful. Nick, what's the time You only like? have 30 seconds remaining. Half your time is gone, XYZ. Oh, this caustic here just standing here teasing you. He hits the ult. He's trying to run. He says, screw this. I gotta go. I gotta go. And he gets hit oh. by a surprise <laughs> by just a wall of gas. That's unfortunate. Forfitty, you're up next. When Nick says go, good luck. Go. There he goes. All right. And he's off. There goes Loba. Ooh, caustic there for intimidation. A lot of the gases were taken down. Remember, after every two deaths, they get to reset, but there's still a good amount that he's got to worry about over here. He's getting hit by a lot of gases here. More gases. Hits the Loba ring. Jumps over the fence. He makes it through. Wait, you're not allowed to shoot. I said no shooting. The Loba <laughs> made it. Congratulations, 450. Um, who's next? Um, Tyler. Looks like it's you. Why are you hiding? Are you like you're scared? Come, come, Tyler. I just noticed the line keeps getting further and further away from the starting line. Are you guys scared? He's like, first is impossible. Okay, okay, okay. First might going first might be impossible. I'm not changing the rules. I I I I, I, have, <laughs> to, I have to I have to keep the integrity here. Uh, no, no, don't run away. Get over here, Tyler. You're up. It's like you know that kid that gets fastened on the roller coaster. And then he's like, no, mom, I don't want to go. Or like that one guy that's like, wait, 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 let me say something. Let me say something. That guy. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Tyler, Tyler is that guy. That's you, Tyler. All right, Tyler. Three, two, one, go. Wow, that's a fat grapple. Look at all these gases. I wonder. He didn't stop to heal at all, though. I'm curious. But he's, he's just oh. doing <laughs> the other. <laughs> Um, oh, all of a sudden now these guys everybody wants to go second. Nope. Nope. Pat oh, the Pathfinder Huires was next anyways. Nice try. Everybody get out of there. Huires was next. He was next in line. I saw it. All right, Mr. Juarez. Best of luck. Three, two, one, go. There he goes. Detective Pathfinder on the scene. Oh, that's one. That's one trap. He's a little stuck. Uh-oh. Caustic body. Oh. <laughs> this is being a menace over here. Oh, God. Quires is having a little bit of a hard time here. He's hitting the gas. Okay. Caustics are doing a pretty uh, de deceptive job of body blocking. He's trying to set up a fence. I don't think he's going to be able to get it. He's. I know that Quires is a Nintendo Switch player, so he's playing on 70 FOB. And I don't think he understood that. Wow. All right. Well, he died. So far, only one person has made it alive. Uh, who's next in line? Uh, Atomic Cat. Congratulations. Cat. Cat. 
make your way through. Congratulations. Wow. This <laughs> Atomic Cat. Yeah. Woo. Look at her. She's so happy. Look at that. Lifeline. Wow. When All right, Atomic her. Cat. In that case, three, two, one, go. He's already taking damage right away. I think Lifeline was a smart choice. I mean, I'm curious to see, though, how the Lifeline drone plays into this. They are allowed to use the drone. Uh, I don't think Atomic Cat... Throw the drone down. Uh, a little too late. I, don't think she... I, think, <laughs> I think Atomic Cat might have miscalculated the amount of tick. It does multiply. If you guys didn't know that, it, it multi... there's a multiplier. Curb Mario is next. All right, Mr. Mario. Three, two, one, go. All righty, good luck, Mr. Mario. Sets off the first gas. I, I really think that was a waste of a grapple there, Tony. Might have been a waste of a grapple. Um, he is getting body blocked aggressively by the Caustics here. Asking him about his number and... <clears throat> okay, Magnum time. Three, two, one, go. Oh, the grapple. The grapple. Oh, no. This is stinking. Oh, that's my feet. <laughs> Go Mega! Yeah! Tony, what do you think smells worse, this tunnel or your feet? It's absolutely mm. this tunnel, and there's nobody that can change my mind. Well, you guys, we just saved the best for last. Losing Leon, aka Vibing Leon. So if he Chat. wins, Tony, will the finals be two people? Or if Vibing wins, is he just stealing 50 bucks away from poor Fitty's pockets? It's both. So chat right now, it, do you, this is now more of a time than ever that chat wants Leon to lose. No, you guys, if Leon wins, it's just a two man finals. If Leon loses, everybody has a chance. Now, now is your time. Do you really, really, really want Leon to win? Alrighty, Leon, when Nick says go, let's see, let's see what kind of team player you are. Or are you selfish like a typical Octane you are? All right, uh, vibing Leon, three. Two, one, go. There he goes. Oh, it's pretty pretty clear for him. There's the first one. Pretty much he can't use his stim. He can't use his stim. Oh, that's a horrible jump pad. Lands in the fences. Does he make it out? He made it. He made it! Oh my god! <laughs> Four fifty oh, so mad. Oh my Four god! So Four, look mad. at look at how mad Four fifty is. Oh <laughs> my! Look at. <laughs> Congratulations, Vibing Leon and Four fifty. This is gonna be a one v one, mano e mano final. Which here's the script. Ready? The final is going to be a Trident Royale battle between Vibing Leon and for fitty yeah so let's go to the final round this is it you guys we are here at the finals landing zones have already been decided team for fitty has to go to high point team vibing leon has to go to shipfall which is right here and they have to land in their tridents loot up and it's pretty much fighting right from the jump okay but they can't start fighting until they've landed at the respected pois Basically, the first team eliminated, it is over. Teams have landed at their POIs. The fighting has now begun. Nick, tell me, what are your thoughts on Vibing Leon making it here to the finals so far? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like, my parlay was already scuffed during the second round. So, uh, Vibing, he's good at the game. He is, and he's very, very, very familiar with all these tournaments, all these mini games and everything. Like, none of this is new to him, even though they're different variations. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised. However, he is still losing. Leon, like I said, we will be seeing him next tournament, Tony, and you know what that means. Okay, he's going to lose today is what I mean. Right now, their job is to get into Tridents as soon as possible and start making their way to the other team and maybe eliminate them. They are allowed to shoot on the Tridents, so like drive-by style, you know, but and also try to eliminate them. The people on the Tridents, yes, they can use Arc Stars and Grenades, so if they if they happen to stick somebody, good for them. The only people not allowed Arc Stars and Grenades are all of the non-draftees. Their job is to use airstrikes and tacticals and just make it really uncomfortable for them to live. I will say this, somebody in chat just noticed Archclaps picked Watson. After I said Watson was off limits, Archclaps, you can stay Watson, but you cannot put the gen on 
the trident. I said that at the rules meeting. Somebody didn't and listen. Now no they're already to. handicapped. Now he's putting his team at severe disadvantage. He he pretty much now has to hit his shots. You know Not what I mean? to mention, I could have sworn for if he asked him to play, play lifeline, lifeline, which is his main yep. anyway. I'm not sure what. Oh, we got. We're is. looking at it right now. Some people are now just now pulling up some shady. Brings a trident over. But look at these guys are making it a hard time here. Like I said, they have to try to survive. Slim Shady and Brandon uh, are are going toe to toe with each other. Slim Shady does survive as they swarmed on him, dropping ultimates here to make it a little bit of an overwhelming situation for 450 over here at the wall. So now they have to start trying to eliminate and kill people, but we're going to go ahead and leave them there. I don't see Team Slim Shady 450 going down and getting eliminated. I'm going to go ahead and check in on Team Vibing Leon. Vibing Leon with an interesting strategy. You see this here, Nick? You see what they're doing? No, no, no. What they're doing right now is they're just farming up their Evos by wiping out everybody who wasn't drafted. Yep. They're just getting free damage so that by the time that they meet the other trident team they're hoping to be as close to red evos as possible yep not only that if they do eliminate them that's just one less person to ruin their their game i'm looking at the map here team slim shady over here just a little bit north of cascade falls and we look at team vibing leon who looks like they're crafting up as high as they can i i think that the team with red shield if they get there that's going to be the one sitting pretty when it comes to the first fight that they get involved with they got destroyed he's trying to set it down let's see does he get it he does awesome and now he's in there. They're ready to rock out. Oh my god. Look at Vibing Leon's build. Look what yep. they have come up with. What is this? What is this, chat? We're already seeing a degree of separation between the skill levels and knowledge of the Ramparts. You can tell who plays Rampart a little bit more. They are in zone, Vibing Leon. Get their, their build going. Team 450 just on the outside of zone. I don't know what they're doing here. But it looks like that they probably... I would not be surprised if Team 450 does the same thing and raise them and put a, a rampart shield on the hood of the vehicle that'd be nice can they do it i don't really know but they are really close to oh, each other if you look they're actually doing something else he put one of the shields on the trident and is what the is this no hand. no they're fighting i see that nick they have double sheilas they have 450 who is riding oh. using sheila as a passenger Vibe's team's looking super low. No, this is it. This is going to be it. This is going to be it. Oh, my God. They ran the double Sheila play. Vibing Leon jumps out of the ship. He's trying to hit a bat. Vibing popping a bat. <laughs> Vibing Leon's popping a bat. They jump out to try to kill him. This is it right here. But like I said, the airstrikes are in play. Making for a dramatic eliminated effect. Fuse ult gets into a play here. 450 Four jumps out. 450 might just go down. 450 does go down here. Nick, I need you to do Both me a favor. The finalists are down. Pay attention to the kill feed. Which team blacks out first? I need you to watch the kill feed. Which team blacks out first? Slim Shady's still alive for for, for the for Team 450. 450 does get res. It looks like all the ults are now pouring in, you guys. This is exactly what we thought we'd see here in the finals. Nick, both teams are still alive. Vibing Leon is in a death box. Banner does need to be grabbed. Hopefully they get the res. Guys, nobody is out yet. It's the first team to black out. The first team to black out. So green means that the res is still in play. Vibing Leon is not eliminated yet. He is dead, but the team is not eliminated yet. 450 eliminating more non-drafted people. Hopefully this does allow them to reset. Arch Slaps riding in the trident, trying to reset, trying to regather and reposition for his team. It's coming down here. It looks like it's the fighting is going to continue off the trident. Magentime. Magentime puts down arcs. He, he does. Magentime might be the last person alive. This might be it. Oh my god, it's a bubble fight between Magentime and Shady. And that is it! Oh. It is over, chat! Team 450, man. Oh my they god, team! Double Sheila and just... Congratulations to the winner, 450, who I believe it was his first time competing, wins the Heirloom Shards collection event giveaway that I was doing here. You guys... Comment down below if you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below if you guys want me to do another one. If you guys made it this far to the end of the video. I'll do another one during the event. I'll host another one. And comment down below if you guys want me to pick you. And uh, and yeah, again, thank you guys so much for an amazing tournament. Thank you guys for all the people that competed and participated. Buddy. Oh yeah, Vibing Leon, we'll see you in the next one, buddy. <laughs>